Hello students. Today we're going to you are welcome to discuss. Today we're going to look at curriculum development, the intro, introductory part of the curriculum of curriculum development, what it is uh, education, the sabbatical curriculum. That's what we're going to look at. So let's move straight i have some brain teasers here let me see how you feel okay i hope you got it right mm -hmm. I hope you got this right as well. I hope you got it right. If you got all four correct, thumbs up. That's great. You're a genius. Okay, so this is the last one, and if you had five out of five, that is excellent. That is excellent. Okay, let's let's move on. Let's look at education. You see, a curriculum resides in an edu in education. So let's look at education first. What is education? I'm getting educated. What is it? Now, education comes from this Latin word, educa, educa, um, educatum, which means respectively to, to learn, to know, and to lead out. So, when you are educated, you learn. You learn to learn. You learn to know. And you learn to lead out, to lead people out of ignorance. So education means to lead out internal hidden talent of a child or person to out to lead out of ignorance. So that is what education is about. And that is what education, that is what has been explained there. All right. Now, it can also be said that education is a deliberate attempt by the learner or by someone else to control, guide, or direct or influence, uh, sorry, influence or money, a learning situation in order to bring about a desired learning outcome. So, education is deliberate. It's an attempt by someone else or the learner. So we have, did, we have didactic learning. Somebody learns on his or her own. And then we have another form in which someone is, uh, you are taught. That is the most common we, we see. Okay. Education may be seen as a subset of learning. So education is not limited to school alone. Mm. Okay, according to Clinton, he says education is the range of activities, both formal and informal, whereby people are initiated or realigned with evolving traditions, structures, social relations, which are taken to constitute the education. So when you get educated what we are doing is that we are realigning your thinking towards evolving things what is happening that you need to know of what has happened that you need to know of what may happen that you need to know of so these are the things that might go into education and then uh, when you are developing your curriculum you should look at the past 
the present and the future. We have types of education. You have the formal edu uh, uh, informal education, formal and then non-formal. So when you talk of formal education, that is that is the normal school system where we have a structured curriculum which students follow. Students uh, are in school. Students are enrolled in a, uh, in a school to follow that curriculum. That is the former. The informal is when students um, are not in a formal curriculum, are not in a structured curriculum. Uh, a case in point is um, fathers, mothers training their kids. You teach them how to cook, how to be respectful, how to clean, uh, 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 tidy themselves, how, how to be godly. All these things, you don't have a structured curriculum you may be following. It's unstructured, so you go on. Uh -huh. So you, they learn how to cook, they learn how to be social, to, to be sociable. Okay, the non formal is a semi structured system where um, those who didn't have the opportunity for formal education want some few bits to survive in life. So they learn English, they learn uh, uh, mathematics, basic mathematics, so that they can, they can also survive in life. So when you're looking at education, education is all around development. Any education that leaves out a path is not education. Let's see the modern concept of education. You have head, you must train the head. That is the cognition, the cognitive part. You must train the children to think. That is, that is one thing that is missing. It's missing. It's missing in our training in Ghana. We, 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 teaching them to know, we help them. But teaching them to think, that is where most teachers uh, are not doing well. So we must teach our children to think so that whatever question that is giving them, they will be able to answer. Then you must teach the heart. That is sociability. The child must have empathy and sympathy. The child must laugh. You see, so the, student, uh, the, the child will be um, an MD and would have the heart to work. Not that... Uh, because you need to do this and you don't do it and then so at times you, you must be empathetic, sympathetic, have the love for everyone. You learn that. And then using the hands. <laughs> there must be practice. There must be practice. Students must use their hands. It's not all about knowing. It, it's not every student who can know. There are students who can also practice with the hand. So education, modern education focuses on that as well. And then modern education also focuses on our health. Um, you, you can't um, obtain a degree and then at the end of the day, you can't make any benefit out of your degree. If if that happens, that is that is sad. That would be sad. So as you train them to make the A's, you should train them to keep their health. You should train them to stay away from uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, this antidepressants, this stimulant, stimulant like coffee, stimulant like tea. 
in order to be able to stay on to study. Travel, cocaine, we must tell them no. You cannot use this to stimulate yourself to get the A and in the end fall sick and cannot enjoy. So modern education has that. Okay. Young Beck also says that. also says that education is not only to elicit thoughts and knowledge from the student, but to draw humankind out of the predicament it is in. That is Christian education. We are looking at Christian education. So, you see, the world has a challenge. The world, as we believe as Christians, is not the perfect world we see. The perfect world God created Adam and Eve into is not what we are experiencing now. Huh. So, if you educate someone, you should educate the person in such a way that the person will help us come out of our predicament. Help us of, out of sin. So you don't propagate sin. Mm. You don't propagate sin. But rather, you must learn to end sin. So you are an environmental student so that you can save the environment. You should be, um, you are uh, a biology student so that you can have the best way. We can have the best way. We can have the best way to to cater for our health, capture our health. So we must do that. Okay, E.G. White also has this to say: that education must be comprehensive. Education must be comprehensive. You saw that. Education and redemption has been one and the same. So, um, when you are training the child, you are redeeming the child from sin. So, whatever you are teaching, you are trying to bring the child mind to the true God. Okay. I'm saying this because I'm coming from a Christian university and <laughs> that is the fact too true education means more than a pursuer of certain course of study it is not about just studying it is it means more than a preparation for the life that is now it has to do with the whole world being whole being and with the whole period of existence possi to, possible to man So, what we are saying is that true education must, must be more than just pursuing a course of study. There should be physical development, there should be mental development, and there should be spiritual development. That is what is missing in, in our education now. We feel that in the public schools, because the the are varied. Because the religions are valid, uh, varied, uh, we it becomes difficult to include spiritual training. But then I think with the introduction of the uh, RME as a core, it's going to give us some form of uh, meant, uh, spiritual training, and that is good so that we can serve in this world and the world to come. <laughs> so if you don't train, if you don't train students in the spiritual context as well, 
you are likely to train clever devils. Okay. So, if somebody is trained, the person should be able to cooperate with God to work. Okay. So, this is the purpose of Christian education. Leading young people into a saving relationship with Jesus Christ. So, in that, here you look at character development. Under character development, development of a Christian mind. You develop the mind to think like a Christian. Development of social responsibility. You, you take uh, such at what I trade on the street. And you expect the earth to support plant the next 50 years. So let's teach. Education must teach a student that they have a social responsibility. Development of emotional, physical and social health and development for the world of work. So finally, the child will be able to serve God and then serve humanity as well. Now, talking about education, we now look at curriculum. We will now look at curriculum. Because the core of the education is curriculum. So in our next video, we'll learn about the curriculum.